Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video for you guys over um, a new bag in my collection that I'm like super excited for. And that is this bag right here, which is the Coach Rogue Tote 29 in um, the new like signature canvas material. And there actually is a technical name for this bag. However, um, I'm not going to like attempt to pronounce it because I totally will butcher it and embarrass myself. Um, so it will be in the title of the video and also the description box as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a quick little review of this bag, show you what fits in here and what my thoughts are at the end as well. So if you're interested in today's video, um, do stay tuned. And then just a full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an SA. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos too, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And um, you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. So when it comes to like the new Roto um, 29, as you can see, the bag itself is pretty like minimal in its design. Um, there really isn't any exterior pockets um, and there's like not a ton of hardware either. I would say the definite, you know, main focus of the bag is on the front here with these imaginary pockets. So you do get three of them. Um, you have a large one up top and then two smaller ones and then also a um, illusion hang tag as well, which is kind of cool. Um, and the material that they use for these like pockets and the hang tag is kind of like a matte like velvet material. I don't know if you're able to see it, but it has like a very um, interesting texture in comparison to like the body of the bag. Um, and there is also a lot of detail as well. As you can see like around um, the pockets and the hang tag, there is like a black um, like embroidery that they used around the pocket, which I think is really cool. And then also the turn locks as well. And I don't know, I just think it looks really cool. I love like the color combination too that they use for the pockets, like the pink and green um, look really cute together. And it kind of has like a preppy feel, I don't know, with like the color combination. And then I also love like the hang tag as well being in like this deep navy color with um, the word coach um, written on it as well. On the back of the bag too, there is like no back pocket or any organization. It is just all that canvas material. And then you'll notice too um, that it does kind of look like an optical illusion with like the signature print. So I don't know if the light is like distorting it, um, but you'll see here that, you know, you have your top set of like the signature C print, but then you also have behind that another set of C print as well. So it kind of creates like a shadow or an illusion um, on like the canvas itself. So I think that's pretty cool. And on the sides of the bag too, um, there really isn't like much detail other than this like canvas binding that they used on the side. So instead of like a leather binding um, that they traditionally use on the smaller row tote bag, um, there is like a canvas binding that is on the side and then on the bottom as well right here. And then here it is on the opposite side. And then just like any other Rogue bag, um, it does feature two top handles as well. And it is in the black gloved tan leather with like the honey stitching on top. And then it does feature two shoulder straps as well that are removable and detachable. And um, they do have a little bit of a padding on the inside, just like any of the other Rogue shoulder straps. And then they do connect to these D rings right here that are hidden like inside of the canvas like so. And when getting inside the bag, um, as you can see, it is a zip top closure like so, and it does open very wide. It is super spacious on the inside. Um, there really isn't a ton of organization with this bag. So it is just one large open compartment like so. And then you do have a little um, slip pocket right here with a snap button closure. And all I have in here is just like the little care instruction. But on this um, canvas pocket too, it does have your story patch like so. And then um, the canvas material on this one doesn't have like the coach word throughout um it is just a standard like canvas lining um so yeah and that's what the other side looks like and it is just again like I said one large open compartment and with this tote bag too you do get two little zipper tabs on each side like so and it is like in the leather material and then you have your little 1941 stamp on one side here with the little cowhide stamp as well so now I'm going to show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the tote bag. And since it is a tote bag, it does hold a lot of stuff. Um, so I have my pencil case. I have my phone case. I'm using my phone to film, so I'm just going to use this for a demonstration. I have my coin pouch, um, a little like catch-all pouch, 
I have this wristlet here with my laptop charger and then I have my little um wallet and also a, another coin pouch as well. And then I also have my laptop as well. This is a 13 inch MacBook Air. Um, this is like the newer model so it is like a little bit smaller than my older one so I am able to comfortably fit it in this tote and I will show you that. Okay, so here's everything inside of the tote bag. So in the middle compartment, I just have my laptop like laying horizontally. And then I have all my SLGs around the laptop like so. Um, and I typically don't use this like back slip pocket right here, but sometimes I do like to put my phone in there um, so I can easily get to it. And this is what the bag looks like um, with all those items in there. And I can also easily zip it up as well. Um, so that is what it looks like zipped up. And as you can see, um, there is like no distortion or weird um, misshaping of the bag. When it comes to, like the top handle as well, um, what I forgot to mention is that they are just like the new rope bags. So as you can see, um, the handles are able to flop on the outside of the bag or you are able to flop them on the inside as well. And for me personally, I do like to fold these handles on the inside of the bag. So I usually do keep my bag unzipped and I am able to um, have the handles fold in like so. So yeah. I'm also just gonna do a quick comparison next to like the regular Rogue bag as well. So here are the two bags next to each other. And as you can see, the Rogue tote itself is actually pretty similar um in dimensions i feel like kind of to like the rogue bag um, the only difference is definitely the sides um if you can see here this bag because it is just one compartment it is going to be a little bit slimmer in comparison to the rogue 30 um with like the three compartments um but in height wise they are pretty much the same height and then um they are about the same in length as well so yeah there's that Okay, so my final thoughts on the Rogue Tote 29 is that this is a really fun and different bag, but also like pretty practical as well. Um, I would say the number one thing that I love about it though is definitely the imaginary pockets on the front. I think this is a very different and like fun whimsical detail for Coach. Um, this is like the first time I think they've ever done something like this. So it's like kind of cool that, you know, they have these fun imaginary turn lock pockets on the front. Um, and I also just love the color combination as well, like this light um, salmon pink again this like darker kelly green um i think these two colors just look really good together and i don't know it just kind of looks um like preppy like a very like preppy color palette um but then i also love that there's like this tiny blue hang tag on top as well so yeah super cute and the other thing too i really like about this tote bag is just that it's a really you know practical bag to use it is a canvas tote bag so it's like super lightweight and carefree and the canvas material on it is super you know thick and sturdy um and the other thing too i really like about this bag is that um because it is a part of the rogue family it does feature two you know top handles and the removable um shoulder straps as well so i like that you know you have the option to carry this bag as a top handle or over the shoulder as well. And for me personally, I always usually carry this bag over the shoulder when I have a lot of items, but you know, it's really nice to have the top handle option when you're like getting out of your car or just like picking up the bag. Um, so yeah, there's that. And the other thing too I will say about this bag is that I wish there was just like a little bit of more organization to it. Um, I wish there was just like one more like interior like pocket or a back zip pocket of some kind. Um, overall, I think it is a really great bag, but I just wish there was just like a little bit more organization. Um, I know they do sell a matching wristlet separately, so I probably will end up getting that so I can organize my bag and then in turn justify getting wristlet. Um, so yeah, other than that, um, that is today's video over this bag. That does it for today's video over the Rogue Tote 29. Um, if you guys have any questions about the bag, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or um, you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can try to help you out that way. Um, but if you guys like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, so yeah, other than that guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!